Today I would like to share with you a life-saving skill. Every year people die from falling through the ice and some of these deaths could be prevented. I'm going to be demonstrating a highly effective self-rescue measure that can get you out of the ice if you've fallen through. If you're an outdoors person, this is a vital skill to have. First, we have to understand what happens when we fall through the ice. As soon as our body hits that cold water, we have a physiological response called the cold shock response. What that means is that our respiration rate increases dramatically, our heart rate increases, our blood pressure increases. And when that happens, we can experience sudden death. That is the first danger that we have to overcome, is to try to mitigate that cold shock response. To do that, we have to attempt to not fall into panic. When we fall through the ice and we begin to panic, that's going to further increase our respiration, further increase our heart rate, and further increase our blood pressure. That increases our risk of experiencing that sudden death. Your mindfulness practice comes into play here. I'll be demonstrating how my body goes into that cold shock response and how that response can be eased. It can last for up to four minutes, but with proper relaxation, it can be gone much more quickly. You'll see me gasping for air, my eyes probably wide, and then I will relax into it. And you'll see the physiological response shift my heart rate go back down, my breathing decelerate, my blood pressure will drop, and I'll be able to pay attention to the second aspect of self-rescue. The second aspect of self-rescue is getting yourself up and out of the water. Otherwise, you're going to be experiencing hypothermia, eventually grow weaker and weaker, and drown. Despite what we see on the movies, we don't get out of the ice by clawing and panicking and fighting our way out. There's a very um, simple way to get ourselves out of the water. After we've fallen through, if we try to fight our way out, we're just going to be breaking the ice we're trying to drag all the weight of our legs up and out. It's not easy. So what we're going to do instead is after we fall through, I'm going to begin to kick my legs and kick them up until I'm essentially on my belly floating in the water. Then I'm going to kick hard and push myself, kick myself up and onto the ice. So in brief, I'm going to demonstrate what happens to our body physiologically when we fall through. I'm going to show you that that physiological response can be mitigated. Then I'm going to display how to get yourself out of the water. Once I'm up on the ice again, I don't want to immediately stand up. I already know that the ice in this area is thin, so standing up could very well plunge me back into the water. Instead, I'm going to stay on my belly, crawl forward until I'm far away from where I fell through, and then slowly get up onto all fours. And when I feel that I'm at a place where there's thick ice again, I can stand and make my way to shore. You'll notice when I fall through the ice, that my arms are going to go out, my legs will also begin to spread. I'm trying to slow my descent through the water 
to not get full submersion if possible because there's also a gasp response. If my head goes under and I'm unable to hold my breath, I can inhale water and begin the drowning process. So I'm trying to keep myself from going under all the way. I'm going to reach for the nearest ice shelf. I'm going to bring myself over to it and then I'm going to do my best to just realize that within four minutes at the longest this cold shock response will pass. I will again be calm, relaxed, and able to bring myself up and out of the water. With that mindset, I'm able to mitigate that cold shock response and be in a much better position to effectively kick myself up and out of the water. Okay, so this is the cold shock response, which really can be mitigated if you just relax. And realize that it's going to pass, and that after it passes, you'll be able to do the second part of your self-rescue. So I spread my arms out, so that I didn't get fully immersed in that gasp response, didn't make me inhale water, so I've survived my cold shock response. Now to get out, instead of trying to pull myself straight up, I'm going to start to kick my feet and raise them up behind me, and then kick. Now I'm on flat ice. Now I don't want to stand up now. I'm going to ease myself forward. Until I feel like I'm on stronger ice. Test it. And start to move towards shore. So I'm going to go in again just to show from a different angle that kicking. So again, we're kicking our feet, raising them up behind us, and then kicking forward off the ice. So kicking my feet until they come up behind. And that's what brings me safely onto the ice. 